Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Ultimate Asset Farming Guide. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. So in this video I'd like to share my method of farming asset. I'm going to show you my daily routine. Uh, I'm going to show you the workshops that I capture in order to place the asset deposits. I'm going to also show you the workshops that have a high chance of triggering a defensive event where crickets spawn and crickets give acid. And I'm going to share with you locations where you can find 100% uh, like Yogwai or Snallygasters, uh, Mons um, Grafton monsters, they all drop acid and they always appear in that spot. Also, I'll uh, share with you locations that has a chance of spawning those guys, so that gives you acid. And uh, a whole bunch of information, so stay put and better get ready because this video is going to be a long one, but a detailed one. If you find it super useful, why don't you share it? <laughs> Alright, so before we actually jump into it, I'd like to mention two events that uh, pop up. Uh, at some point not always <clears throat> so the first one is the meat week so the meat week uh, event has uh, the ability it gives us the ability to farm a lot of acid and other cool uh, materials such as springs and I believe gears as well because though the meat week spawns a lot of crickets uh, bears and that is good because that means a lot of acid the other thing is when you see uh, Vault 94, or what is it? Man, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, 94. When you see in the uh, weekly challenges uh, the Vault mission being washout, that means over there you can farm your asset. Uh, if you are, f you're not doing anything else, because have in mind this takes time. So if you are to do this, uh, then I would highly recommend to get your friends with you to go to washout and play it on the easy difficulty so you don't have the timer so you have all the time to loot all of the crickets uh, now we did this raid a couple of times I believe like a month ago and per run we used to make four to five hundred asset per player meaning like we almost got two thousand asset if we had a full party so definitely uh, visit the washout if like there are no events if you're not focused on something and in that way you'll be able to get a lot of asset plus you get to do your weeklies why not and uh, yeah as I said crickets cave crickets I used to hate them but now I love them <laughs> alright so 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 let's stop wasting time and navigate to our starting location which is gonna be Helmlock holes and there are two reasons why I start with that location alright so we are now in hemlock holes and the first thing that I would do before capturing the workshop is to run into this section right here <clears throat> and there's gonna be a guaranteed uh, grafton monster spawn only one guy but if you kill him he gives acid plus a lot of other goodies including caps so first thing what I do I take this guy out Ooh. Snallygaster. This is the first time I see them spawning there, so I believe this is a chance for them to pop here. That's cool! Nice, I'm gonna add this to my checklist. So there we go, more acid, baby. I believe these guys are not always spawn here, because as I said, this is the first time I see them here. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Usually I see their uh, like cockroaches or something like that. <laughs> So afterwards, uh, it's pretty straight to the point. Uh, you gotta go and uh, take over the this workshop. I'm gonna take over this workshop while recording because maybe uh, someone who has just started playing Fallout 76 and don't know what this is. So basically, the workshop is where uh, like an additional camp area that you gotta clear out the sort of guards. Once you clear them out, you are able to capture them. So believe it or not. Uh, there we go we cleared it previously I used to run to that thing to claim it but there is another way if you hold V on PC uh, you're able to capture it without the need to actually getting to that part and I found out that like uh, a month ago or something and I've been playing since beta <laughs> I used to run always to those things so once you capture this uh, you're able to grab the deposits now this workshop contains uh, three food, one crystal, three acid deposits, three water, and one gold. 
So there we go, our asset, one, two, one, two, and three. And uh, what you'll need to do is build the, the deposits over here. Afterwards, well, generators, obviously, but I have my little fort over here. So, bam. That has a generator. Ah, gotta get rid of that wall. So, bam. Bam. A little bit of self-promotion. <laughs> and then we, I'll put one of these things right here. Bam. Bam. Really quickly. And that's it. Now, these things, they generate a uh, maximum of 10 asset per 30 minutes, meaning we got three deposits. That means we can make 30 asset per, per 30 minutes, which is cool. Uh, and I would recommend to wait a while because this place is going to get under attack uh, like within the next minute or so. You defend it and then we jump to the next area. By the way, I did forget to mention that this is a guide not for server hopping. Like, this is what I do just on one server. Uh, am I gonna do an, a separate guide with uh, point outs for server hopping, how to farm asset? But anyway, so well, we've captured our uh, workshop, we've killed everything. The next area where we're going is the Kitty Corner Cabins. So over there, we have a chance of fighting, of uh, finding three to five. Uh, Snallic Gasters, I believe that's how they're called, right? I hope. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we appear, and there we go. By the way, I did forget to mention that this is uh, not 100% uh, location spawn. So there could be ghouls, there could be scorpions, there could be flies, there could be a whole bunch of different units spawning here. But if you're lucky, you'll get to spawn Snallic Gasters. So that's three right uh, killed and there's four that's the unit one so even for example if you will have ghouls over here make sure to check that area because you still have a chance of finding a uh, uh, at least one snellagaster here even if here the location is spawned with uh, other types of units so there we go how much acid do we really make I actually cleared up my uh, junk before I started doing this video so so far we already got 51 acid not bad all right next location will be uh, green grand Gin oh my god Graninger farm I am from Ukraine so sometimes I do mispronounce that stuff but with this location you gotta know one thing uh, it's not a hundred percent. It can spawn Yagwai bears. It may spawn uh, Snallygasters, but they will spawn with super mutants, and super mutants will be fighting those guys. And if you're not quick enough, uh, you will. And if the super mutant kills your target that has acid, in that case, unfortunately, you will not be able to loot it. So once you fast travel, make sure to quickly run in into action and start shooting whatever you see. <laughs> So this is the area where you spawn in, as you can see super mutants are heading for the kill and unfortunately we're not lucky and we got scorpions this time and we got a two star. So as I said, this is not a 100% guaranteed location to find Snallygasters or any other type of units that give acid, unfortunately. But still a good location to stop by. The next location though is 100% to find one Yagwai bear. It's at the Philippi Battlefield Cementary. So once you fast travel over there, uh, you simply just turn a little bit right, you'll see a parking lot, and on that parking lot you will find that one uh, Yagwai bear that gives acid and springs, by the way. So that's cool. So this is where you appear, just run straight, and there we go, you see the bear right there in front of us. And you take that Kokoroch out, and go ahead and loot it. Done and done. Alright, next location is the Monongaga Overlook. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Anyways, that is also a 100% guaranteed location to find one Yagwai bear. So, once you sort of fast travel there, all you gotta do is just run straight and you will find one 
uh, within the next like three seconds once you get there so we're loading in we run over there and we should have our Yakuwa bear somewhere around here there he is you can hear him there he is and more acid for me baby all right, our next location is Mononga Power Plant. So over here we have one workshop. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't state that it has an acid deposit, but it does. So w once you take it over, you can build the acid deposit right here, and you will get yourself uh, an income of additional 10 acid per 30 minutes. So that's pretty much it about this location. <laughs> Alright, our next location is Dolly Sods Wilderness, uh, and over here you'll need to do, well, sort of this area, actually. So over here you need to do a couple of things. Over here you have two Yogwai Bears spawning 100%, so that's acid over there. Then I would recommend capturing also Dolly Sods Campground and uh, Thunder Mountain Power Plant Yard uh, workshops. They don't have an acid deposit, but what they do is they have a chance of spawning uh, waves of crickets, cave crickets. Maximum waves I've encountered was four waves and those four waves gave me in total of 200 acid somewhere in that area. So I would say it's somewhere around 40 to 50 acid per wave. So it, sometimes it can end up having one wave, two waves, three waves and maximum what I've encountered was four waves. And both of these workshops have a chance of spawning uh, the crickets. So in regards to the bears, as soon as you fast travel to Dolly Solid's Wilderness, you will have your first bear right in front of you. So you take him out. That's one. Afterwards, you turn around, bypass this sort of house over here. Navigate to this road over here, and there you see your second target over there. And as I said, these two are 100% to spawn, so no other units have spawned here as well oh yeah another tip on top make sure to visit uh, and check out who's defending this uh, workshop because sometimes it may happen that that would be crickets but in our case stupid frogs unfortunately let's take a look how much acid we've managed to farm so far by doing this 75 acid not bad all right let's go to our next location all right, next location is Toxic Larry Meet and Go. And once you come here, there are always going to be three Snallygasters. As you can see, those cockroaches right there. You take them out and claim your acid. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, what I would recommend you to do again is to capture the Berkeley Springs uh, West. Uh, it also has a chance of spawning waves of crickets, so that's more acid for you as well. Uh, let's go to our next location. Alright, the next location is Treetops. Over here, there is a chance of spawning uh, Snallygasters and I believe also Yogwai Bears. I've encountered them, I think, only one time. I'm not sure. According to the notes, I did. But as I said, I've been doing this guide for a little bit over a month, gathering all the information. But not always you'll find Snallygasters. In my case today, unfortunately, we got into the honey beasts that don't want to die. So, take them out. What do they give? Oh, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Insult bot. Don't insult somebody else. There you go. Okay, and the other before you move out, go ahead and capture uh, Dabney Homestead. Uh, it also doesn't have an acid deposit, but it does have a chance of spawning crickets uh, up to four waves, so that's really nice. And uh, let's go to our next location. Alright, our next location is the workshop right here, Abandoned Bog Town. Uh, over here you have one acid deposit, so you can take it, build your deposit, and get your 10 acid per 30 minutes. Or check this location as well. It's uh, not a hundred percent guaranteed to find uh, Snallygasters, but there is a chance. Uh, so if you just, I usually teleport to this place right here and run over here. Just save the uh, icon where I'm standing, and just to show it to you, it, the location looks like this. And Snallygasters may appear in this area. 
This is where also that uh, enclave event also gets sort of triggered. And be careful, this place has uh, a lot of bear traps, so if you're a bloody build, you can get killed by one of those traps. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next location. Alright, so our next location is Glass Cavern. Uh, I'm gonna run through the entire thing and show you how to enter it, because uh, if you're a new player, and be careful, if you're a new player, there's a lot of uh, Scorch Beasts over, over here, so if you're a low level, this is, might not be the place for you. So basically, once you enter the cave, you gotta run all the way through, right? And at the end of the cave, you will find uh, dead crickets. So those dead crickets, uh, they also give acid. And, and it's not just crickets over there. There's a whole bunch of uh, other dead uh, mylurks, dead uh, scorched beasts, and so on. And they all have something to give. Now, have in mind that you can visit this location once per 24 hours because if you loot those guys, uh, the server hop will not uh, help you to get more acid, unfortunately. So, this I'm gonna quickly show you how you run through it. Plus, let's see if we're gonna be able to kill some Santas right now. Uh, we have a, a holiday scorched event that basically spawns. Uh, one, two, or three stars Santas that also gives us uh, holiday gifts and this is being recorded in December 2019 so if you're wondering why you don't see no Santas <laughs> because you're playing on a other date I guess <laughs> so this is the road area oh Santa hello Mingo Bill. oh it's a two star oh another Santa nice small gift Cockroach. Hey, where's the other one? Hello? Oh, I hate when this happens, man. Oh, there we go. And a small gift again. Well, that sucks. So you then you pass through this thing. Open the door. Turn left. And this is the first area where you find your crickets. So I don't like uh, waste a lot of time. There are a couple of crickets here. So you go acid right there. Acid right there. Let me cure myself so I don't get killed during my video, man. Some of them will not have acid, by the way. So. And. Uh, see, we have antiseptic over here as well. Scorch Beast, nothing to loot. Okay, let's go continue. The most cave crickets are going to be at the very end. So then we continue running. And running, running, and running, running. Oh, Karpowski. see no Santa's okay and that's the area where we're gonna have a lot of uh, cave crickets and plus sort of a, a mini boss so over here you'll have a couple of dead crickets bam bam sometimes you can loot them sometimes you can't have that in mind right yeah, a couple of these guys the most crickets are on this uh, sort of cliff over there. So let's kill the boss first. There we go. There's one more cricket. Here's another one. Here's another one. Uno mas. And another one right there. Come on, man. And another one right here. And there should be more. I think I'll reload that one. By the way, this place has been reminded to me by our good YouTuber friend, Sinister Ain. <laughs> so you might want to check out his channel as well. Just YouTube Sinister? Hey. But many of you already know him. There we go. Some more crickets right here. 
And I hope I haven't missed any. So, in any case, just in case, try to run around this place a little bit more, and you might find even more. Guys, I might have missed some. Alright, so now we got 163 acid. Not bad, eh? Let's go to our next location. Alright, our next location is Lucky Hall Mine, and it's a chance. So there's a chance that you can find some Yogwai bears fighting over here. But in our case, it's liberals and super mutants. Libera Liberator. <laughs> well, unfortunately. Uh, so sometimes you can find uh, Yogwai's bear there, uh, like a randomized sort of event. Uh, afterwards, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you can find crickets outside. And if you find crickets outside, that means you can find crickets inside. And when I you, when I do the run with the crickets, uh, it gives me about. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we have rat rats this time. That sucks. Uh, it gives me around. And ants. Okay, so it's gonna be ants most probably inside, or rats. I'm not sure. Anyway, one of the two. If it were to be crickets, then uh, crickets outside and crickets inside. And this is the best area where you can farm lead. By the way, one run in here will give you uh, 1,600 lead. But well, basically, if you have the excavator power armor, right? I already covered this uh, in more details in my uh, ultimate lead farming guide so you'll need your power armor excavator power armor and just run through those uh, get all the lead ores and then you use acid to smell the, uh, those lead ores into lead scrap and one run can give you a thousand six hundred as minimum oh well a thousand four hundred and thousand six hundred that's what I usually come out uh, come out from here with and uh, obviously while you're collecting the ores you can kill your uh, crickets if they have spawned outside uh, if they're not spawned outside, meaning there's no crickets inside that cave. <laughs> Let's go to the next location. Alright, next few locations over here. Uh, you can capture this workshop right here. It has one acid deposit that's 30, oh, that's 10 acid per 30 minutes. Uh, then you can also capture this workshop right here, Federal uh, Disposal Field HZ. It also has uh, one acid deposit, so that's another 10 acid per 30 minutes. And afterwards you can come to the mountainside bed and breakfast. Over here you can find uh, two guaranteed Yogwai bears that also give acid as soon as you kill them. So this is the area where you spawn in once you come to the location. So what you gotta do is just pretty much run straight a little bit. And you shall find your Yogwai bears once you reach the end of that mountain over there. So, uh... Ah! Oh my god. Seriously, I just had to fell on that thing, right? So, uh, there's the first one, and there's the second one. So this is 100% guaranteed to find Yogwise. Poof! Let's go to our next location, shall we? Alright, our next location is Middle Mountain Cabins. This is uh, also not 100% guaranteed to find uh, Yagwai Bears, because in this case you can find three Yagwai Bears or three uh, Scorpions. This is where I usually do my daily challenges if I'm asked to kill uh, Scorpions in this section. Man, it slipped out of my head how the section is called. Uh, Okay, never mind. Just it's just slipped out. Also, I usually make a stop by in White Springs, kill all the ghouls, and there are also a chance that you can encounter Snallagasters, you can encounter Yogwai bears, and so on. So, if you want to do a run over here, and uh, you can do it. Plus, you can get a lot uh, legendaries over here as well from ghouls, etc. So, uh, my mate, I'm gonna stop here with the middle mountain. I'm not gonna show you the White Springs because everybody knows White Springs by now. <laughs> if you're new, you'll definitely find out what White Springs is. <laughs> Trust me. So, uh, middle mount of cabins. Once you fast travel, you end up in this section here. And in our case, who do we have? Wow, what the hell just happened to me? Oh, wow, I just stepped on a trap. Well, and where the hell are. Hey, we're in luck, ladies and gentlemen. We got the bears. Usually, they appear one here, one here. Why is he inside? Well,. That's one. 
Uh, one appears here as well. What the hell? This is the first time it happens. Maybe they ran away or something? Hello? Hello? Okay, maybe it's uh, one case scenario. Uh, as I said, this never happened to me. This is the first time it happened to me. So, once you come here, and if you're lucky to find those bears, one should be somewhere here, the other one over there, and the other one over here. So, as I said, have in mind, this is not 100% to find Yogwai bear, and you may encounter rats, uh, scorpions over here, and uh, honey beasts. Uh, so far, these are the only ones I've seen here. Let's go to our next location. Alright, so our next location is Site Alpha, right? So over here you can find one uh, Yogwai bear guaranteed. There you go. He's usually in this area here or behind the house or somewhere there. So if you stop by here, you'll definitely find this dude. Bam, bam, bam. What's up? <laughs> Alright, let's go to our next location. Alright, our next area, sort of with multiple locations, is Charleston. So, over here. Over here you can find two Grafton Monsters and two Snallygasters. So we're gonna start with the best location to teleport will be Charleston Training Yard. And over here you'll find yourself your first uh, Grafton Monster. So, he gives a lot of caps and, of course, acid. You can find him, like, walking around somewhere here. So, where are you, my little friend? Oh, there he is. Level 10. Done. Pick the stuff up and let's move on. The next stop will be Snallagasters and Charleston. So, oh my god, I really hate this teleporting bug. Da. Two Snallagasters you will be able to find. So once you fast travel, they're uh, not far away from the location where you actually like end up spawning in. And these loading screens. Jesus. I thought I was like, yeah, I don't have to, you know, like pause the video here because it's just the distance is so short, but no, Jesus, finally, <laughs> we loaded it. So then you sort of go over here. This is the area where you spawn in, right? And there you go. One cockroach. Hey, where's the other one? Oi. Where's your friend? This is weird. This never happened before. Maybe the super mutants killed him or something. Maybe he ran away somewhere. Well, this is the first time this is happening to me as well. What the hell? I think it's something's up with the server or something. So anyway, you definitely f at least find yourself one, but Usually there's always two, so that is weird. Okay, our next stop is Charleston Capitol Building, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Charleston Capitol Building. There we go. So this is where you spawn in. You gotta turn east and run towards sort of the dump, dam. And your cockroach should be somewhere here. There he is. <laughs> Having fun with water. Bam. Alright, what's up with our next location? Alright, two final locations. Uh, I would recommend capturing this workshop right here, uh, Berkeley Mine Exhibit. It has a chance of spawning crickets uh, in waves. Have in mind that I've checked multiple different workshops, and uh, only the ones that I've mentioned in this video actually. Uh, spawned in crickets so it's this one right here I'm gonna cover them once again S uh, this one right here this one and this one and this one so yeah these are the ones that I've so far I know for a fact spawn crickets and the final stop will be Silva Homestead why because we have some uh, what was those bag called? Hold on, let me run to it. So basically, that's where you spawn in, by the way. You run to that barn over there. 
and you will find these bags of chlorine so uh, that's five over here and another one let me pick that up as well over here and there's also some really nice resources that you can pick up and get yourself more oil some screws adhesive and so on so afterwards you can go also visit that house over there you'll find a board game which also gives acid and some toys that gives other good stuff as well obviously they're gonna be low level cockroaches here <laughs> well scorched bam 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 pick that up pick that up over here is the board game here's the best horsey that gives springs screws and everything else explorer outfit this one is randomized different uh, sort of outfits spawn in here and not always by the way so that's one and the final stop would be that location over there that's where you can get one more uh, some more good stuff like this 4C right here kill the roaches pick all this up bam 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 and scrap and uh, how much acid? Acid. Look, 12 screws, springs. Not bad. Where's acid? Oh, there you go. 21 acid. Not bad. I mean, still good. Don't you think? Bam, 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 bam. Let me get rid of that stuff real quick as well, if you don't mind. So while doing this guide, we've managed to gather all of these resources, <laughs> by the way. 60 springs, not bad, huh? And uh, 223 acid. But the cool thing is, if we come back to our homestead over there, we should be able to collect all of the acid and if I were to have captured the other locations we would be able to collect even more acid <laughs> right so now we go ahead and pick up our acid and we'll have in more acid the other good thing is that by the time you do this run the other locations should have already respawned as well so if oh man I forgot to put the sand up out here so if we for instance go back to Kitty Corner Cabins, uh, once again it's not 100% that Snail and will spawn there, but let's go check out if anything spawned there whatsoever, right? Let's go. And we are in luck ladies and gentlemen, more Snail and So you can pretty much stay with this route, you can combine this uh, route with your legendary farming spots. I mean, that's what I usually do. Capture more workshops that will keep you busy, and you pretty much just uh, run from one point to another. And uh, in this case, you get to farm a lot of acid and different stuff as well. Oh, these things also give acid. So, bam, bam, bam. What about with that guy? Oh, that guy didn't respond. Oh, there's a guy. Ah, this time we don't have that guy over there. This time we have the queen. And there we go, another snail gaster right there. Die. So in theory, if these guys have respawned, then all of the other guys have respawned as well. Hey, where the hell did I... Oh, there he is. <laughs> Lil. So in theory, all of the other guys have respawned as well. Let's see if what that farm has to give us. Last time it gave us uh, scorpions. Let's see if we're going to get anything else. And uh, might not even going to pause it. So in conclusion, I did miss out on a couple of locations like um, that location right there. Oh, wait, wait, no, not that one. This one right here because Uncanny Caverns. I'm just not lucky with that location. It has a chance to spawn in crickets. And people said that, okay, you see, I'm lucky. This time it's just a bunch of Scorched. Well, that freaking sucks. And they were fighting 
These poor little cockroaches. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You see, as I told you, there is a chance that the guys who are gonna kill it I decided to uh, shoot this moment again. But this, I at least got to kill these two guys before the super mutants have killed them all. Oh well. So that's this location. Not not a hundred percent and as you can see you can get Yagwise, the uh, Snallagasters and so on, but you gotta be quick. Otherwise uh, these guys will kill Snallagasters or teddy bears, well Yagwai bears, and you will not be able to loot your assets. And this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this guy. So while doing this uh, Asset guy that managed to get 293 acid and uh, other locations also have respawned. So I usually do this like uh, in circles because uh, I kind of like to keep everything on one server. But I'm gonna do separate quick guides on if you like to do the server hopping uh, for different materials. Uh, personally, myself, I really don't like server hopping. So even my leg guide and other guides were kind of strictly made for not server hopping. And these are all the things I managed to get while doing this uh, method. So, 72 springs, not bad. So, that's good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Z Clan, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to leave that like. The amount of likes will indicate for new users who do not know me if this video is good or not. And I hope this video was good. <laughs> and, uh,. Feel free to leave your comments, maybe there are some epic locations that I've missed and uh, if I'll find more locations and something I should add on, I'll make a second like part 2, but I believe this is more than enough for the ultimate guy, I think. <laughs> and yeah, when you're commenting please do not uh, use swear words as those words get triggered and comments are not visible to other users. I receive them, I read them, but I do not react to them because in order for me to react I need to approve it and I do not approve uh, comments with f-bombs and so on only very rare case scenario will approve a comment with f-bombs just because I like I feel like I must reply to it uh, but if you want to get a reply and you want others to see your comment please don't use profanity and uh, if you're new and you subscribe welcome to Z Clan I'm Gamer Z Sol from Ukraine so I have from Ukraine uh, and yeah, if you want to help this channel grow, please do consider sharing this video with uh, in the social media or sh share it with your friend who am I gonna like who is looking for acid pretty much. <laughs> and Z Clan, everybody else, I will see you on the next video. Have a good Monday day and night, whatever you guys like it at. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video live stream. Don't hit, don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on the live stream or the videos that I upload here on this channel. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.